All right, guys, today we got some snow here at CJ Boats, and I am, I'm plowing in my pickup truck. I got a snowmobile in the back. This is exciting. My favorite time of the year is winter, even though kind of the business gets shut down. We don't sell as many boats. We do do some pre-orders, but I brought the sled out, got a ski-doo in the back. It's 850. She rips, and I got a really big paddles on it because I'm doing something I haven't done since my younger years. I'm going to try and skip it across the water. Okay, I'm, I'm getting lost. Oh, yeah, keep going this way. With the snow, just everything looks different, but we're out here plowing getting some snow moved holy cow it's piling up i need some more speed i got my power stroke out here god the roads need to be marked it's kind of tough driving there we go keep moving keep moving biggest thing with this is speed the, the concrete path is like really really nice okay there's bolt he's moving boats around there we go all right and he's got the wheel loader out so nice me and him are probably gonna tag team i want to get the snowmobile unloaded because it is kind of nice put some weight in the back of my truck so it's a little more even because you know the plow the plow is pretty heavy and the snowmobile weighs about 500 pounds so it kind of offsets it in my opinion pretty good all right guys so i just made a little plow through i think these bigger parking lots it's really inefficient to plow it with like a plow truck those boss boss box plows i think are what you call them those things are deadly on a wheel loader but we're gonna get the sucker unloaded and we're gonna do a water skip i i haven't told bolt just yet i think yeah you guys saw moving our last boats around we didn't get everything in the storm this is the first storm of the year looks like boss's corvette is still in the snow i wonder how we're gonna get that out but there's even uh the police boats in the water and there's a few jet skis that are beach so like this is the water still okay the water isn't warm but it has been we've had some 50 degree i think last week ago okay right, he's moving a big boat i need to figure out where to unload this but the best way to do it i don't have ramps snowmobiles aren't the easiest to unload out of pickup trucks the best way to do it is the back up to something honestly i might go on the boat ah uh, it's probably not long enough i got an idea i think over at these boat ramps i can uh, if they're long enough i think i can back in and pretty much use it as a uh, as a ramp so we'll see all right i don't want my plow in the water it just makes it rust faster and there's a lot of like electronic components even though it's pretty waterproof uh it's not the best for it so we're gonna get it unloaded here at quite a bit lower there we go grab it. i'm just gonna kind of roll it off here okay i got the back end now just the skis and then plop it down boom there we go she's in the powder she's in the snow let me get it fired up get out of the way of the truck all right, let's fire her up here. First start, we got an electric start. I haven't had a sled with the electric start. Here we go. There we go. That clean. That sounds so good. Okay, let's get it over here. The snow's pretty deep. We got about we got about six inches, and it's pretty powdery, so that's that's nice. But yeah, the water the water is starting to freeze. This is honestly the first cold day of the year, and it snowed, which is really cool to see, which is nice because I don't like I don't love cold temperatures, but I love snow. So if it's gonna be cold, I want it to snow. That's kind of how I think think of stuff. Okay, bolt's still moving things around. I'm gonna park it up here. I think first things first. We're gonna try and get this place somewhat cleared out at least uh at least like it doesn't need to be crazy good or anything at least we can pull in and out some customers can come in right now the biggest thing we're doing is we're winterizing a bunch of boats we do that service for 200 dollars a boat i mean depending on the engine size but you guys don't know you have to do actually quite a bit to winterize a boat and get the engines and there, there's a lot to it so that's what we've been busy doing and not a lot of selling honestly but hopefully here later into the winter the new year we run a lot of specials so once the new year it's kind of christmas time hopefully that picks back up all right let's get back out of there i was hoping she didn't slide into the water that wouldn't be good would it all right bolt can you hear me on the radio yeah i can all right man i'm coming back i got the i got my snowmobile unloaded so i'm gonna try and do a water skip today but do you want to start we can work together start plowing yeah do you want to take the plow truck or you want to take the bot i'll take i'm gonna run my truck if you want to run the wheel loader you're a little better than i am at the wheel loader i think so, yeah i'm just parking most of the stuff inside the boat so. yeah do you want me to move Ooh, I don't know if we're going to get the Corvette moved, but I can the move The Corvette, my... I think, doesn't have to sit there. Okay, I can move my Cummins. Yeah, just park it inside. There, a door open. Perfect. Small garage door. Yeah, I don't think the Corvette's going anywhere, man. Yeah, shut the garage, and I'll just leave this slide outside. It doesn't need to get moved. We don't need to get that crazy with the snow plowing, too. Yeah. But, all right, man, you're the boss. Where? How do we do this, kind of? Make some piles? I have no idea. It's a lot of concrete, dude. It's a lot of space by the dot okay i might make some big passes here start kicking it into the uh on the side oh there's a jet ski trailer down here that we have to pull the jet ski out ah uh, yeah that's the or biggest thing we got to do like a lot of cleanup work which is a bummer but you gotta do what you gotta do okay so i'm gonna leave both the kind of like the tight areas like that parking lot like his plow would be really good for that because i feel like i'm gonna push a lot into like parking spaces and it's not gonna be that pretty but for these big passes kind of 
skinnier passes, if that makes sense. I think I'm going to try and do these for him so he doesn't have to. But big areas like this, a little truck. I mean, it's not a little truck, but just like a pickup truck and a snow plow. It's tough. It's tough. You got to you gotta have some pretty big equipment if you want to do it like efficiently. Make sure we get the front here. That pile is so big. Oh my goodness. But I'm excited. I'm going to, we're going to skip through this and I will show you guys kind of once we get closer to the end because it's going to be, it's going to take a minute to get all this done. Excited to go snowmobile and hopefully I don't think or that would be bad. CJ would get mad at me. So. got the snowmobile warming up <laughs> we kind of bury the corvette but tj won't be here for a few days we'll, we'll have to dig it out with shovels and then put it inside but that's the least of our worries we're gonna he's gonna be bad we left it outside not gonna lie but i gotta get this out in the snow if i can get it with the concrete there we go bolt is moving let's just get it warmed up hit this little snow power right here hey there we go Okay, what i'm gonna do i'm not sure what me and bolt were talking about this like how am i gonna do this uh it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy i'm gonna go i'm probably gonna go to the butt ramp down here just because we haven't plowed it yet that way i can get plenty plenty of speed all right this is it i think bolt's coming down he's gonna he he's wanting to watch me i kind of got tired of, of snow plowing and we have a lot more work to do we and i want to make sure we we get this snowmobile done all right there's bolt he's coming around so bolt what do you uh what do you you think this is enough run up man Think I can get my speed? Um, I don't think you're made it. How? F okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get up to I'm gonna try and get up to 70, 60, 70 when I hit it. Maybe that's a little too fast. I should probably have some throttle left, but I have no idea. Um, where are you planning on KT? I'm, I'm full sending it down our main boat ramp. I think it's the most gradual, so I think that'll work best. Where are you planning on going? Oh, oh, I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna try and get to the island. Uh, that that uh, Ian's island, the really rich guy. Ian's you know? island now? Oh, I didn't know what Ian. Yeah, is, but sure. go I down there. Go going. down to the ramp. I'm gonna fly by you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Record me. Put it on Instagram or something. All right, guys. Here it is. The sled's looking good. She's warmed up. So I feel like if I hit it too fast, like with too much speed, I might kind of lose control, and I wouldn't have enough throttle to like get onto plane like kind of pop a wheelie so i'm gonna maybe not go as fast kind of gradually that way i still have some juice left in the tank all right here we go guys <laughs> here we go say a prayer for me all right we're full sending getting speed 20 25 30 okay this is probably good we're getting up speed and hit it there we go and we got it oh yeah all right we're in the water we're almost to this island super short not too far there we go we made it sick we made it okay that is that is short when that is not a long drive when you're when you're already going like we i think we got up 65 70 which is fast on the water and then i had to slow down a lot coming over to this island so this is ian's island look like he isn't home he has his corvettes parked here and his boat's still beached which like i said like this snow is very surprising so a lot of people kind of got caught in it all right I'm going to go around here, see if I can get another run up. I just need speed. See if I can come around here. All right. I'm going to hit it right here. Here we go. Boom. And we got it. Yes. Let's go. We are flying. Can I turn? Dude, this is sketchy. I could easily lose this. Good thing the water's not super deep around here. I know where the deep spots are. All right. We're flying across. All right. I'm on plane now. I can kind of lean slowly, slowly. There we go. Point it back. Okay. I got to watch out for islands. Any logs? That would, uh, that would not be good. That would not be good. All right. We're making a pass by bull there he is we are flying i better slow it down here keep it on plane don't want to bob too much all right i'm gonna try and hit this beach right here slow 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 it down there we go we made it we made it back this is our this is like our patio beach area looks like some people were grilling right there with their cherokee that's funny okay can i get around here we have a lot i don't want to run over our nice bushes there we go there's bolt he's probably going crazy he saw me fly by dude how did it look surprised he made it but I was surprised I made it too. Once I got on plane, honestly, it felt like a jet ski and and it, and it floated pretty good. I could lean a little bit. You saw me turn. It looked like you were about to flip. Yeah, no, a few times. And then getting onto the water, I was bobbing, 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 and then flattened out. So that was pretty cool. But we I need no jet ski should need that pulled out of the water. Yeah, those need pulled out of the water. I think there are rentals, so we better get to that. All right, I'm Ooh, gonna go. Ahead. I'm gonna go put this in the shop. Let it let it uh, uh, warm up. Yeah, just put it in the door. Big door, it's heated. Door. Cool. Yeah, the whole shop is heated. 
All right, guys, there we go. That was a lot of fun. First time ever water skipping. Or not the first time, but first time with this sled. I bought it last year. It had two inch lugs on the track, and then I got three and a half just for this. So, uh, or if we ever get really, really deep snow, I can I can throw the switch the tracks pretty often. Right, I'm going to try and get inside here. This is all heated. Don't want to lose too much heat. It's like 25 degrees out. There you go. We'll shut it real quick. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We took the ski do out. I'm going to let her uh, let the snow kind of come off. This thing's a beast. 800. It's a racing one. But it has a longer track, which helped uh, which helped us like actually go in the water. So thought maybe we would have to be fishing it out, which was um, which would have been fine. It wasn't too deep. And we have boats to get it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. The Mega, Mega Cab looks like a beast right here. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.